Riding my scooter in the forest, surrounded by trees and nature, makes me incredibly happy. One day, while cruising at 30 km per hour, I imagined myself as a fairy about to take flight. But then, I saw something unexpected, a noisy black metal machine that didn't fit in with my fairyland. It felt out of place in my world. So I decided to make a change and turn my electric scooter into my very own fairy dream ride. There isn't really anything wrong with this scooter. It works awesome, but for me it's just boring and generic. The paint is all scratched up and it doesn't really match my style. This definitely is going to be a challenge, so I think it's time to get started. And here I am, taking a deep breath because I don't know what I'm about to do. <laughs> Playing with the brush to avoid starting. I'm going to be using this primer that helps the paint adhere better or I don't know, that's what I have heard. But first, I need to cover everything with tape because I'll probably make a mess. At first, I was planning just to paint this too, but I thought it would probably look weird. So I decided to go for everything. And I mean everything, except the handlebars, wheels, and the mouth where my feet go. I probably should have cleaned it before starting, but there is no better time than present, so they say. Actually, I thought it would be dirtier. I must say, this primer works very well. Just with the first coat, it already looked pretty even. Although, in the end, I gave it around 5 coats, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to paint the front wheel, so I didn't. And now, the part I've been waiting for the most is finally here. And in case you're wondering, yes, I started painting this thing without having a clear idea of what I was going to do. But hey, here we are. I decided to do a sketch, but nothing came to my mind, so I started looking for inspiration online. I wasn't really looking for anything particularly, but what inspired me the most were these outfits because that's what fairy looked like in my head. I really like the color palette and patterns on the clothes in this picture and my first thought was that the lines of the baseball jacket would look great on the skateboard. And I knew from day one that I wanted this part to be pink because it gives a lot of Barbie car vibes. And for the two, I wanted to make this checker pattern but I didn't know how to paint those checkers in real life, so I thought of copying the pattern from the skirt, but that didn't look good at all. <laughs> Instead, I saw this sock in the background, and it seemed like a good idea to make a gradient because it will go from black to dark blue to light blue. I was still obsessed with the idea of having a checkered pattern, so I started creating negative spaces with the electric eraser because I have an idea of how I could do this in real life. I finished the last touches and the colors I used didn't quite convince me, so I did a digital sketch too. I put my signature on the rear tire and this is how I wanted to look in the end. Oh, hello again! I'm going to be using micropore instead of masking tape because I forgot to order it and I'm too lazy to go to the store. So hopefully it works decently and doesn't rip off all the base coat. And for painting and recording at the same time, I had to be in the most uncomfortable positions, but I know it will be worth it at the end. I bought the cheapest paint I found online, so this is going to take me at least 3 or 4 coats. And here I wanted to use my knife to cut the tape, but instead I just left a giant scar on the base layer. I forgot to order a paint palette, so I'm mixing the paint in bowls. I mixed this beautiful lilac and it looks so juicy. I didn't think it will come out in the frame, but <laughs> here you can see me holding the brush with my mouth. And coming back to blue, this is starting to look more like my vision and the micropore is doing an amazing job. Very easy to peel and so satisfying to watch. I'm matching this with the color of the board, but the more I paint, the more I feel something is missing. I'm thinking of painting all the screws black or silver and since the scooter is very theme, I was thinking of drawing fader related things like magic, nature, flowers, uh, but 
none of that convinced me so I decided to go just for a pair of wings actually my pair of wings if I ever have wings I want them to look like this I also draw shines and glitter around and this is my first time trying this so I'm glad it worked at this point I've been waiting to do the back tire for ages. I don't know why this is the part I am most excited about and while I was painting I was thinking of what I could possibly draw here too. This part was tricky because the surface was really long but at the same time it was really thin. So I came up with this sort of magic glove dagger and I love the contrast between the baby pink and the red. And here I am just finishing the last touches with the electric eraser. For the handlebar, I decided to leave it plain, no more drawings, so I only needed to match the same color I just used. Now, how did we get here? Well, in the original design, the white lines were intended to be very thin, but this is the thinnest tape I have, so we're going with that. I tried using a sponge to make the gradient, but it looked really patchy, so I went back to using my trusty paintbrush. Dealing with the light baby blue shade was tough, and achieving the gradient seemed impossible. The paint was too pale and low quality, so it required many layers to fix it. The final result looked Okay, um, however, when I took off the tape, the paint started coming off too. That's when I realized it might be time to head to the craft store. I finally decided to go to the craft store for some supplies. I got iridescent fairy dust, decent quality paint, thin tape and sandpaper. And you know what comes next. Removing completely the scrap paint, sand the surface, do the base layer and place the tape. And oh my god, this is already looking so much better. This paint is also more pigmented and vibrant. And since I've done this before, this time was so much easier to blend the colors together. No sponges this time. I'm still traumatized from the last experience so this step was never racking for me because this time I actually like how it turned out. It looks more how I planned it to look. This tape didn't do a great job or maybe it was me but anyways the paint leaked so I needed to went over all the lines with white acrylic paint. This iridescent paint is super shiny and beautiful. I was thinking to use it just in certain spots, but I ended up spreading that shiny goodness all over. I mix it up with super glossy varnish to protect the paint job, and I just can't wait to see how it dazzles in the sunlight in the middle of the forest. And remember that I left the front wheel without painting because I wanted to be just black? Well, now it's pink and shiny. And we are finally done. 